you already know what union is union is a set of all the distinct elements in two or more sets so if i give you two sets say a and b you can easily find out a union b so you know how to find out a union b now if i ask you what is b union a well will it give me the same answer let's check it today let me have two sets say a is 1 2 3 and 4 and b is 3 4 5 6 and 7 and i ask you to find out a union b now that's simple a union b what will it give me will we write all the distinct elements in two or more sets that is a and b 1 2 3 4 we have listed the elements of set a now we list the elements of set b now 3 and 4 are already repeated here so we will not write 5 6 and 7 so we have correctly written all the distinct elements in both the sets now the question was will b union a give me the same answer check it for yourself b union a now i'll list the elements of set b first say 3 4 5 6 and 7 and then i'll list the elements of set a 1 2 3 and 4 have already been listed so we'll not write that again now is a union b equal to b union a well we know that two sets are always equal even if their order is not same here we can see that all the elements are present in both the sets so all the elements of a union b and b union a are same only their order is different and in sets order does not matter so you can say that a union b is equal to b union a interesting isn't it now look, if you look at these two sets a is 1 3 and 5 and b is 2 4 and 6 will it give me the same answer here also find it out a union b will give me what 1 3 5 2 4 6 and what will b union a give me 2 4 6 1 5 3 there was no common element here so there was no question of writing distinct elements it is same here so you can see that a union b and b union a are same only the order is different so this is one of the properties of union of sets where in disjoint sets a union b and b union a remains the same now what about overlapping sets will it give me the same answer a union b will be what 1 2 3 4 6 and b union a will be what 2 4 6 1 3 well the order will not remain the same here but the elements are same so a union b is equal to b union a here now we know that you can see a is a subset of b here so what will be a union b 2 4 and 8 here you can see that b is the superset of a well that's the same thing as a is the subset of b will b union a change here what will be b union a 4 2 and 8 so that is the same but what we got in a is the subset of b so you can say that a union b remains the same as b union a in this joint sets in overlapping sets in subsets and you can check it for any other set so we can see that union of sets is commutative now what is commutative commutative law states that union of two sets remains the same no matter what the order is in the equation so a union b will always be equal to b union a now let's check it with this example 
Now suppose you are making a small team of cricketers. For that, what do you need? A set of batsmen and a set of bowlers. So first, you hired a set of batsmen. Now you want to hire a set of bowlers. What will you do in the language of sets? You will do A union B. That is, you will bring together the set A and set B. The set of batsmen and the set of bowlers together to make the complete team. So this will give you a complete team. Where you will have a set of batsmen as well as a set of bowlers. Your team is complete. So this is your team. Now what? If I had got the set of bowlers first and then I hired the set of batsmen, that is I did B union A in the language of sets. I hired a set of bowlers and then I added the set of batsmen to my set of bowlers. I did B union A. What will I get? I will get the same team, only the set of bowlers will be arranged first. So again the order is not same but I will get the same team. So, I can see that even if I hire batsmen first or I hire bowlers first, I will get the same cricket team. So, this is A union B is equal to B union A. The commutative property works here also. Now, one more property sets have. That is, union of sets is associative. Now, what does this associative mean? Now, forget that. Let us consider an example first then you will know what is associative. Here we can see three sets A, B and C. A is the set containing elements A, B, C, E where B is the set of vowels of English alphabet and C is A, I and D. Now can you find out this for me? A union B, union with C. So we can see that here a bracket is given. So, we will solve the bracket first, solve it. What will we get A union B as A, B, C, E. Will we write A and E again? No, we have to write only the distinct elements. So, what are the other letters left? I, O and U. Do we get A union B? Now what we have to do? We have to add the union of C with this. So with this set I have to do union of C. Do it. Copy this. Now we will write those elements of C which are not there in this set. Well A is already present. I is already present, D is not present, so we will add this letter D. So we get A union B, union with C as this set. Now can you find out this A union with the union of B union C? For that you can see that a bracket is given here. So first let us solve the bracket. What will B union C give us? Forget about A, look at B and C. A, E, I, O, U. Will I repeat A and I here? No, it is already mentioned. So, we will add the letter D. Now, we have to add A union with this set. Write the elements of A first or you can write down the elements of B union C first. It will give you the same answer. A, E, I, O, U, D and we have to add this elements of A which is not present in this set. So A is already present. B is not present. So we will add B. What about C? C is also not present. So we will write C and E it is present. So we avoid it. So, if you look closely, this set and this set is equal. Only the order of letters is different. Check whether each element of this set and this set is equal. A, E, I, O, 
u d b and c so we can see all the elements of a union b union with c matches with a union b union with c so these and this and this set is equal so whenever we do union of one set with the union of two other sets it will be equal whatever the order is this property of sets is called associative what does associative mean associative means that union of two sets with another set will give you the same answer whether you place this set first or the union of two other sets first this property will be cleared in a example now you had already made a team of cricketers earlier with the batsmen and bowlers now you want to make a perfect a perfect team what do you what will you do for that with this set of batsmen and bowlers you will add wicket keepers to your team so if you see it in the language of sets first you have done a union b that is set of batsmen and bowlers together now what did you do you added wicket keepers to your team that is say set c so with the set of a and b you added the set of wicket keepers to your team so you got a perfect cricket team now if you had done this first you had hired wicket keepers then you had hired bowlers or say first you had hired bowlers and then you had hired wicket keepers so you get a small team and then what did you do you added batsmen to your team so again you will see that you got the perfect complete team so whether you take this order or you take this order at last you will get the same perfect team so this property of sets is called associative property so what did we learn today for any two sets a and b a union b will give us b union a both will be same this is known as commutative property and what did we learn the union of two sets with another set will be equal no matter what the order is in the equation so a union b union with c will give us the same answer as a union b union with c well it is common sense if you see we are adding two sets here and then we are adding the another set or we are adding the second and the third set and then we are adding the first set to it well let us do this with numbers let's see it comes or not let's set a b 1 b b 2 and 3 b c so what i am doing is 1 plus 2 then i am doing 1 plus 2 plus 3 what will i get 3 plus 3 which is 6 now let's do it here what i am doing here 1 plus 2 plus 3 but first i am adding 2 and 3 and then i am adding 1 to it so what will i get 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 5 so i'm getting 6 see it is coming the same here also so this property is very interesting as well as easy and it is called associative property of sets